our subject is the science of happiness. So what is happiness? How can, it, how, how can all the science would be study of happiness? Yeah, actually science, if you ask science, uh, the scientists would say that happiness is not a subject matter of science uh, because it's not something you can measure or, a, a, you know, like with an instrument. It's not a materialistic phenomena that you can measure or, or, or uh, uh, perceive physically. So basically, uh, when we say science of happiness, we are talking about a science which is go, goes beyond the material aspects of science, uh, means uh, into consciousness or into more of energy related aspects rather than matter itself. So to answer the question what is happiness, we need to resort to uh, arguments which go beyond the conventional science or the so-called scientism or the materialistic science. And essentially if we go to uh, purely biological definitions, we say that, you know, when as we get born, we get born with a f essentially a physical need. You know, if a baby comes out, it does not have a mind, it does not have, if this mind is not built up, there are no needs, there is no desires. It has basically physical needs at that point the bodily needs and a baby is happy if you feed it and it's crying if it's hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that time, at that stage the happiness is food and bodily sleep or whatever you call it or cuddling. But as you grow up uh, this turns into the brain gets into built into mind and the mind starts developing and as the baby gets taught the culture. Uh, the education, the social uh, uh, interactions uh, or the uh, what it learns from uh, its predecessors, parents, families, uh, friends, it starts to begin to develop a so-called mind or personality. Yeah, or if they watch too much TV, I mean the advertising, they, th they think these uh, toys will keep them happy. Correct. And when they are very little, you know, the little things will keep them happy, little toy will make them very happy, or especially what they like. But as they grow older, the toys get bigger, and as the toys get out of uh, fashion for them, mm -hmm. then they need other things. The mind, the ego comes into picture, their whole personality. It's all defined. The rest of the... Uh, I need a bigger truck. <laughs> uh, correct, <laughs> correct. So uh, the biological needs that make people happy are physical needs are when they are fulfilled, people feel happy. If they are not fulfilled, they are unhappy. Mm -hmm. But as it gets into personality, mind, culture, um, uh, values that come in from society, then now comes the desires. There are no more needs. Their needs are fulfilled at that point and the mind brings in the desires which need to be fulfilled. The desire for, uh, let us say, wealth. Uh, desire to have big things, desire to own things, desire to Mercedes, a Mercedes, million dollar home, or even big planes, you know, or, or go around uh, the world, or, uh, or be uh, uh, what do you call it, wealth, fame, mm -hmm. and uh, power, recognition, recognition, all those comes into picture. Now, at that point, the happiness it becomes a entirely a relativistic ball game. Now, I am using the word relativistic, which is the scientific term, you know, Einstein's theory of relativity, mm -hmm. means at that point, it is uh, like chasing a rainbow. Relativity means uh, at that point, what a person uh, wants to uh, be happy is entirely, it changes day by day, minute by minute, depending upon experiences. If I bought a small car, or let us say go back in time, people in the time of bicycles, one would be very happy if they got a new bicycle, mm -hmm. you know, go back 50 or 100, you know, 70 true, years. True. And then came the age of car, now you need a car to be happy. And then the, now the cars are sur surpassed by bigger and faster cars, the sports cars and whatnot, and then you need that to be happy. Now and you need an environmentally mental 
correct car to be happy. A exactly. Hybrid. So if you are an environmentalist who has, you know, who is conscious about environment, so you need that kind of a car to be happy and so on. I mean, the uh, infinite dimensions come into being which are totally perception of my mind and personality, what I like, what I do not like. Uh, even if I have a big expensive car, it may not make me happy because I already do not like it <laughs> <laughs> or vice versa if it is I have a let us say small house and need a bigger house to be happy. So, scientifically it is all relativity that is what you know Einstein said that the time flies fast if you are sitting and talking to a beautiful woman you know <laughs> or you are happy because it's your time is flying and, and you are happy. Mm -hmm. But if you are going through very rough time uh, then it does not fly then that's it goes true. very slow. Mm -hmm. So, it is he, he that is how he explained his theory of relativity and exactly that is how the mind works it uh, uh, the whole definition of happiness becomes now a wild uh, geese chase because no matter where you are if at that point you need more or you need something else and the mind always looks for mind is never they call it a conjurer means it will f it will look for what is missing. Mm -hmm. The mind will never say that let me stay here where I am it is a running clock mind cannot stay at at the moment where it is at and that is why it is mind. Yeah. It is the most uh, uh, dynamic thing. It will create something in order.